morning. Thank you. Only one sunrise. Three people are hurt after a shooting on the city's east side. It happened just after two this morning near 21st and Midhoffer. Sunrise reporter Chris Kirshner is live at the scene with how the victims are doing and why violence like this is causing not just the city but federal authorities to take action. Chris, good morning. Good morning, Julia. That's exactly right. First of all, in this case, all the victims are expected to be okay. No life-threatening injuries. Here's what police say happened. A woman and two men were shot about 2 o'clock this morning, as you say, in a neighborhood near 21st at Midhoffer. What they don't know, who shot them and why, but violence has caused neighborhood city officials and now the feds to take notice and to take action. Later today, U.S. attorneys from across the country will be making their way to Indianapolis to talk about ways to end and prevent crime and violence here in the city. This is a meeting organized by our own U.S. attorney's office in response to violence in the city this year. Drugs and guns are a big problem right. here in Indianapolis. Uh, they always have been, and, and uh, those are the acute problems that a lot of the other areas have faced, Philadelphia, uh, Baltimore, uh, New Jersey, and they'll be coming out here. And to tell us, one, uh, you know, what do you do on the front end to prevent those things from happening? Uh, then what do you do in the middle? How do you prosecute those cases successfully? And then finally, eventually, all those people are going to get out of prison, and what do you do in terms of a reentry program? Now, the federal authorities will meet to talk about what works, what doesn't. They're going to share ideas. Those ideas then passed on to local law enforcement. It's a two-day meeting. The meeting actually gets underway tomorrow, but as I say, uh, a lot of those people who are coming from out of town will be making their way to Indianapolis today. Now, the meetings will be closed to the public, but we do expect a media briefing uh, to talk about some of the things that they, they talked about a little bit later in the week, so we'll be sure to update that for you as we get that information. As for the shooting early this morning, police are still looking for suspects. Reporting live downtown, Chris Kirshner, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.